welcome back to my channel and welcome back to the first or welcome to the first of my moving vlogs uh, today it is November 17th Tuesday November 17th I am officially getting my keys on November 20th so obviously by the time you guys are watching this video it's probably like a whole week after that so my life is in a whole other area but um yeah i hope you guys enjoy this little moving series that i'm gonna have for the next couple weeks it's gonna be really fun i can't wait for you guys to see the new space um but today i'm actually getting the moving boxes so i'll show that a little bit later i like to get these like environmental environmentally conscious moving boxes instead of wasting a bunch of cardboard so you guys will see that you may remember it from my last move, but I'm really excited for the new, the new space, guys. I don't know if you guys have already seen the apartment tour, if I'm posting that or I'm posting this first, but it's just such a good time and I just can't wait. So right now it's like almost 11.30. I actually have a meeting at 12 and then I have to film a bunch of content. It kind of sucks that I'm moving at this time because it's literally the busiest time of my life. Like I have so many projects that I'm still working on. So I thought that I would just sit down and do some prep with you guys and just share my day and share like the start of the packing and everything like that. My brother also gets here Thursday night. So that will likely be in this vlog as well. I can't, for you guys, I can't wait for you guys to see him and I can't wait to see him too. I haven't seen him since. March it's been quite a long year without him so it'll be really nice to reunite but right now I'm actually about to start my makeup and I thought I would just share a little bit of a prep uh, because I get a lot of questions about what I do with wudu obviously as a Muslim um, you pray five times a day and depending on how well you can hold your wudu you're usually like washing your face a lot I already did my skincare earlier in the morning what I normally do though is just reapply like a moisturizer um, just because my skin does feel a little bit tight after washing it but I don't want to go in with like my entire skincare routine every single time I do wudu basically and if you're confused on what the hell that means um, it's basically like a practice of washing your body so you, we wash our face our arms our feet our head our elbows all that good stuff before we pray and yeah so obviously when I wear makeup I just hold my wudu for the day so there's a little Q&A answered for y'all but today the moisturizer that I'm using is by Skin Fix and it's their Barrier Plus Lipid Peptide Cream and I've been really enjoying this. Skin Fix, um, they've actually kindly sponsored this portion of today's video so shout out to them. I've partnered with them before. Um, I really love this brand. I got to meet with the founders and just learn more about their brand as well and they really focus on just treating the skin barrier and making sure it's as healthy as possible. I've talked in the past about, you know, if your skin is sensitive, if you're breaking out if it just like feels tight or dry it's usually has to do with the fact that your skin barrier is compromised so it's really important to just use nourishing hydrating products that really like feed your skin essentially so this basically has all of that it has some really good healthy fats to just rehydrate your skin and they also are made in Canada or it is a Canadian brand at least I don't know if it's made in Canada um, but yo girl is made in Canada too so I can relate with this brand. Love supporting fellow Canadian brands, but it's also vegan and cruelty free. I love moisturizers like this because it really uh, keeps it from getting like contaminated like by always dipping your finger in. So that's always really nice. You can see the product just disperses like that. And I just put it on my skin. Oh my God, my skin really needed this. <laughs> so I like applying also just moisturizer like a fresh up application of moisturizer before I actually go in with makeup anyways because I find it just makes your base look a lot nicer and more plump and more smooth so I really just focus on pressing this into the skin but as you can see it's not like a super glowy like thick greasy moisturizer it just gives you exactly what your skin needs gives it nice hydration. It still gives you a glow, obviously, but it absorbs really quickly into the skin, which is why I've been really liking to use it. Also, when I get stressed, <laughs> which is all of November, basically, with how much work I have to do, my skin takes a hit, so it's really important that I use products that will actually nourish my skin and help it get back to um, health. So as you can see, this like cluster breakout that I was dealing with a couple weeks ago, um, in conjunction with the other products that I was using, really has gone down and has really soothed my skin it's not like red or inflamed anymore so we love that and i'm just gonna apply my spf on top before i go in with my makeup so if you are in the market for a good daily moisturizer you could use this at night as well um but it's like kind of like my bit of course there's helicopters oh i can't wait till i move <laughs> 
So if you are in the market for a really, really amazing daily moisturizer that will really help nourish your skin, it's great for all skin types, and I will have this link down below. It is available at Sephora. So I'm gonna go ahead and put on my makeup. I think I'm actually gonna go for something a little bit more full coverage today, so I'm probably gonna go in with my Lancome Tintadol or my Armani. I don't know which one I wanna go in with. Probably this one though, because I'm too lazy to go into my skincare or into my makeup. Um, but if you guys want to see kind of like my everyday-ish makeup look, then I actually posted a video last week, so I will have that link down below for you guys, and it's kind of like getting ready with all my um, current favorite makeup products. So check that video out. I'm going to be doing basically the exact same look. I will see you guys when the boxes get delivered. I just finished doing my base makeup. I'm going to film um, the rest of my makeup a little bit later, but... This is what it's looking like and actually I just got a text from the moving box company so I'm gonna let them in so that we can start packing oh there they are right now lock on my door that just adds a little more protection so I always have to take that off The boxes are here. They're usually green, but she said they sold out of their green ones, their usual green ones that they have. So we have pink ones, and I'm kind of in love with them. They're so cute. <laughs> I have pink moving boxes. I love it. So while I was doing my makeup and in meetings, my mom was basically wrapping up all of the stuff in the kitchen. Oh, why are we still zoomed in? We repurposed a lot of the packaging from my PR packages. A lot of them always come with all of this paper. Guys, all of this paper came, I think, in like one package. <laughs> like, so much, but it actually worked out because she wrapped up all the plates, the bowls, like literally everything, all the mugs. Um, we're keeping just a couple just to take ourselves, like stuff that's a little bit more delicate. And my mom needs to get that and then we have all of this stuff over here as well So she's just gonna be packing up the kitchen as I work today and then later on I'll help her with the rest of the stuff. But yeah, um, so the moving company Or sorry, this isn't the moving company. This is just the box company. It's leafy boxes So I think they're just renting from piggy boxes though because they're usually green. I think they like ran out. Yeah, I like it just because it's a little bit more sustainable. You don't waste a bunch of cardboard and then you don't have to like box up all the uh, cardboard and worry about it like breaking or whatever. It's just much easier. It's a little bit more expensive, but I feel like if you're saving the environment, then any price is worth that. So, right, Mama? Mm. We're environmentally friendly. <laughs> Wait, that wasn't a good one. There we go. <laughs> I'm headed downstairs real quick because yesterday actually I got this like massive package from Reebok and Cardi B's new collection and they the package that it came in I'll post a photo over here um, I didn't want it anymore so a follower of mine reached out after I asked who wanted it and she actually ended up coming so she was so sweet her name is Andy so shout out to you Andy um, but she's here because she wants to drop off a little thank you gift which is so sweet we'll see if she wants to do a little cameo on camera guys this is Andy hi. <laughs> I love her she's so sweet she literally came back again I just to. to drop off some sweets <laughs> and this gorgeous plant she's so cute y'all you know how much I love donuts and she brought me donuts I love you thank you love so much you. I love you so much I was not expecting that at all. Thank you so much, Andy. You just made my day. Seriously, so sweet. She literally did not have to do that, but I'm glad she did because <laughs> I do love my donuts. Not that I need more sweets. Whoa. Oh my god, guys. <gasps> this smells so good. Oh my god. I don't think I've ever had sidecar donuts, but I hear they're like amazing. She is so sweet and she gave me a little plant which is gonna be the perfect little apartment warming, housewarming at my new place. I'm honestly so grateful for my followers. Like y'all are seriously the sweetest. I've only ever had good interactions with you guys and I'm just so blessed to have y'all in my family. But um, Mama's still packing away. And yeah, let the moving vlogs begin. So this is what the state looks like right now. We have all of this kitchen stuff, more kitchen stuff. The kitchen is pretty much all packed. 
Um, so that's nice with the exception of just a couple things that we're going to be using. Um, but everything else is pretty much packed and ready to go. The stuff we're going to keep using though, we'll probably just take that ourselves. And then right now my mom is packing up the... Um, the dining room and then I am working on my office. I kind of have to walk weird because she's not wearing a hijab um, But I'm working on my office right now So I'm just gonna pack up some of like the makeup and skincare backups that I don't need right now The tricky thing is I still have a lot of work to do today's Tuesday So I still have like Wednesday and Thursday where I need to do a lot of work. So I'm trying to figure out like I don't know if I need to do any makeup work anymore unless I decide to film a video but I need to like set aside some product to use that's why it's kind of confusing but I think that I should be okay packing up everything that's like kind of in these two and then I'll just keep whatever I need to use in these two things over there and then take it myself so that's kind of where I'm at I'm gonna pack up all of this it's gonna look so empty in here by the end of the day but um yeah I've been Honestly, not stressing out too much with this move. I feel like I should be stressing out a little bit more But I don't know why I just have this like calmness. So yeah, I'm just gonna um, pack up some of my skincare now I fit majority of my makeup and skincare in this thing Like literally all of that. The only thing that is left is my complexion products I feel like if I just took them out individually and like scattered them in there they would fit But I do kind of want to keep them nice and clean just so it's a lot easier to organize later, but It's looking good. The next day my office is looking so empty right now guys. Look at this everything in that makeup drawer is all packed away and um, we just have them kind of like stacked in the living room like this as you can see so progress on the move is going really well right now i am really glammed up i'll show you guys my outfit because i actually have a shoot to run to i have to leave like right now because i actually have to get a prop for the shoot real quick before i meet up with morgan um, but this is the outfit. It's for Macy's. So I have this little outfit on. I'm hoping that it's not like super hot outside because I'm already kind of warm. I'm wearing like a thick sweater plus this like coat, but it's so cute. It's definitely not like what I normally go for, but I think it'll shoot really well and look really nice for the post. So I'm gonna go and do that and then I will continue on with all of the packing a little bit later. Um, so I'll see y'all then. I just want to do a little check-in. Good morning guys. It is Thursday officially the day that my brother is coming in. I'm so excited but look around y'all Everything is pretty much packed up in my bathroom my Bedroom is just boxes everywhere. It's actually insane. Plus on top of this. I've been so busy with work like this is like Honestly, one of the most inconvenient times to move, but it's okay. Um, I just finished applying my skincare I just had to give another shout out I know I used this in the beginning of the video, but I have just been loving this Skin fix barrier plus lipid peptide cream. I'm gonna put on a little more because it's just so good Like I'm just like I know this video is sponsored by them, but I need y'all to know that I've been using this every day And I genuinely like it so much so I'm just applying some more. I just really like the glow that it gives like it's not like a heavy glow. It just looks so Naturally radiant. I just love it. So yeah um, Reminder that the link is down below um, It's just kind of chaotic right now, but I told myself I didn't want to film anything else or like do content or anything today because I just want to focus on actually like packing the rest of my stuff. This is what my office looks like by the way. It is so empty. Look at this y'all. It's crazy. Although I'm kind of loving the minimal vibes in here. <laughs> I don't know. It's like really nice. I feel like I might have to do this for my next place. But anyways, um, I told myself I wasn't going to do any work but honestly I think I just said yes to way too many projects 
and it's all biting me in the A ASS right now <laughs> because I have zero time to finish all of these and I'm just really mad at myself for saying like putting way too much on my plate right now but it is what it is I mean I can't go back now I have a really bad problem with like saying yes to things just because I don't know I just have a problem with that it's something that I'm constantly working on but um, yeah I'm just way in over my head right now kind of stressed but that is I feel like just the reality of like moving and then also trying to work at the same time like now I totally understand why people take time off work to move because it's impossible to do both but I'm trying to make it possible and I just need y'all to know how stressed I am right now but inshallah it will all get done every time that I go through something like this like where I'm just like so overwhelmed I, I think about where I will be a week from now or like you know a couple weeks from now and it will all be done and it somehow would have been dealt with so I'm like you know what I'm gonna think like that person <laughs> so yeah anyways I have to get some work done but I just wanted to kind of like update you guys on where everything is at and yeah my brother gets in at like 10 p.m. tonight so I think you guys will probably see him in this vlog I'm really excited progress of all of the clothes this is what my room is looking like an actual disaster but we're getting lots done as you can see most of the stuff here is done and then we're just leaving all of this because they're gonna go in wardrobe boxes um, and I think they should be fine like that I'm considering maybe even putting them in garbage bags just so that they don't get dirty in the move but I mean it's only like 10 minutes away from where I currently live so I feel like it should be fine so all we have to do is get rid of that and then we are pretty much good to go oh I have some stuff down there too this is making me realize just how much loungewear I got this year. I went from like not having any loungewear at all to majority of my closet being loungewear. It is 8.04. My mom and I actually just picked up some dinner, which I'll show you guys in a second. But as I was like packing everything up today, I realized I never got around to showing you guys an empty apartment or um, like a furnished apartment tour. And you guys are always asking, so I'm so sorry. Um, but my next space, I promise you guys are getting a really good empty apartment tour and also a fully furnished tour because it is going to be my space. Okay, I can do whatever I want to it and, um, you know, film it as I please. So I will show you guys that. But I figured, I mean, I'll just kind of show you around what this office looks like, even though it's empty. It still kind of looks complete. But anyways, you walk in and here I just have a clothing rack that I used for... Um, like fashion posts and stuff and also just for inspo so as you can see I just have my nudes out because I was taking some photos earlier and I just wanted everything to look nude and minimal this is what I kept my makeup on this is the Ikea I honestly forget what this is called but I kept all my makeup inside of here it's obviously empty right now but um, I honestly downsized a lot of my makeup so honestly everything could probably fit into just these two top ones um, but before, you know, this was like packed to the brim and as you can see now it is not, which is nice. And then I had this little glass thing, like this bookcase that I just used for kind of like a display. I didn't really like decorate it as well as I wanted to, so hopefully in my next space I get to, I may potentially get like another one for the other side, depending on like how it fits. I have this pompous grass over here, I get a lot of questions about this. Sorry, my mom is vacuuming. But this is from... Um, Lux B Pompous Grass on Instagram and then this is a CB2 vase over here and then here is my desk it's the Gemini desk from West Elm I'm obsessed with it I just love how like the chrome or the um, bronze matches all the bronze everywhere else um, so yeah it's from there it was a little pricey but definitely worth it because I put in all my makeup over here <laughs> <laughs> um, so if you're wondering why this is still in here it's because I was still doing some work and I think I'm just gonna like saran wrap this and then have them tape it, tape it closed so that I don't have to actually take anything out obviously my computer um, and then my mirror is actually from CB2 it was in this corner but I moved it over here just for now and I like it because it just looks really cute for like photos and stuff so I kind of wish I did this before but Alas, we are here. Um, and yeah, that is basically everything. Ooh, and then I have a closet over here which I kept like our coats and stuff because I didn't have a coat closet. So I just have all my coats over here, some of my mom's stuff as well. And then on this side, 
there was this like shelving unit so I put in like extra makeup and shoes and my bags in there so that is basically my little office tour even though everything's kind of empty and right now we are gonna eat dinner because we have to go pick up my dad my dad we have to go pick up what is that does it not annoy you the, the microwave yeah, I know. <laughs> She always lets it be. <laughs> but uh, we're gonna go pick up a mirror in like an hour. So we got uh, Taim Grill, which is no, it's not new on my channel, but um, I'll show you guys when I open this. And then I just have some leftover mac and cheese because I got tender greens last night. And yeah, this one thing could literally feed all of us. It's so much food. So this is what I always order. It's a kosher restaurant, so it's chicken pargio. I forget what it's called, but it's basically just like chicken thighs grilled with onions and um, garlic. Some hummus, some salad. And here they always give like these like extra sides of like beets and cabbage and baba ganoush and all that kind of stuff and then in here I have some bread so that is our little dinner this will literally feed all three of us like they put so much chicken in here so we're gonna enjoy our meal one of our last meals in this apartment you excited to move yeah she's been honestly all she's been such a champ she's been throwing it down with these boxes helping me pack Basically packing up most of the stuff, so <laughs> shout out to Mama. She's been a very great help. Wow, you look beautiful in this lighting. <laughs> but um, yeah, she's been a big help. She was really stressed out about the move and I was very much like mellow about it and that was stressing her out. <laughs> but we finished everything, like literally everything is good to go. We're also having Mama's famous soup, which a lot of people always make. And yeah, just... So much stuff everywhere. The end of an era. I'm really excited for the new beginning. So I am going to eat dinner with Mama and I will talk to you guys. I'll see you guys in the car actually when Amir gets here. Joined us. Hello, guys. Hello. Hello, I'm here. Welcome. <laughs> Welcome to Los Angeles uh, once again. Huh? Actually, <laughs> elbow. <laughs> you didn't wash your hands yet. <laughs> My first moving vlog. <laughs> we'll catch up with you guys later. So next morning, morning I get the keys. Amir's enjoying the massage gun that I got for my mom. <laughs> You guys can see him a little bit better now because it was really dark yesterday, but welcome to LA, Amir. Yeah, I came all the way for this. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I didn't know I'm doing this right. I got ah. this thing from Macy's. I'm doing a campaign with them on Instagram and I had to buy a gift or bring it or like pick it out a gift. No, so I thought this would be nice for my mom, but Amir is claiming it as well. <laughs> He's disassembling all the lights for me or like taking them all out. If you guys remember this little balcony project I did during Ramadan, um, we gotta take all the lights down and I think I'm just gonna toss that out, that little old bed frame thing. It works for the time being, but gotta take that all out and I think I'm gonna transfer it to my next balcony. All right guys, we are heading out of this apartment. I guess it doesn't really matter if I'm showing you the number anymore. But we are headed to the other one so that I could get the keys. The creepiest thing happened today, so each of our floors look exactly the same and there's this guy above us on the penthouse floor that has a dog and we had left this door open because Amir was um, downstairs and all of a sudden I'm in front of the door and I see this massive like pit bull walk in. I just like completely went blank, like I was not saying anything, I just like staring at the dog like walking back like what is this pit bull doing in my room? <laughs> and then some guy runs and he's like, oh my god, I'm so sorry, um, I'm on the penthouse, I, I thought this was my apartment. He's like, oh my god, <laughs> he's talking to me the entire time, I'm silent, just staring at him like, just mm. my brain was not processing what was going on. It turned out to be my fault because mm -hmm. I jumped off the elevator before he got on and pressed our floor. <laughs> <laughs> so he just like, I don't even feel like, I feel bad for him because he didn't obviously want to do that, but it was just so creepy. And I was like nervous that the dog would think I was an intruder because he thought it was his house and like bite me or something. Cause it was a big dog. 
Alhamdulillah, nothing happened. But yeah, we're gonna head over to get my keys. Uh, but yeah, I will see you guys at the new place. Wait, wait, no, we still have to. Okay, oh. hey, we are en route to the new apartment. And I'm excited because I'm gonna film an empty apartment tour for you guys. I think this is gonna be like the first actual empty apartment tour that I've done because the last time was just shambolic, so I'm excited. And then, yeah, you guys probably won't see the apartment in this video though, so it's gonna be a bit of a tease. This is just the first moving vlog, so check in for the next video to see the empty apartment tour. Amir is gonna have to film it for me, right Amir? Yeah. <laughs> I'm sure you've watched a lot, so you can um, get all the good angles. But yeah, I will see you guys at the apartment. I got the keys. I'll see you guys in the next vlog. Subscribe if you're new. Like this video for more moving videos. My mom needs to use the bathroom, so I will see you guys in the next video.